anymore either. Welcome back. <laughs> it's a delicious week on the Jason Show as we celebrate pizza. We kicked off Pizza Week on Monday with a trip to uh, QC Pizza in Matamidi to learn about Quad City style pizza. And today, it's all about Detroit style, which can I just say before you roll this, we've all been saying that watching the video and the teases has mm -hmm. made us all very hungry. Yes. So very. we may get pizza today. It's known for its thick crust and rectangular shape. And we're getting a lesson in Motown deliciousness at Rectangle Pizza in Minneapolis. Look at this. All right, so this is just a little baby kitchen. Already sort of pre-done a little bit. This is a, a part of what the secret would be. There's many hours before it gets to this point. Uh, we have to make the dough, but then after that we do a bulk ferment for hours in the fridge, and then we pull that out, and then we have to ferment it in the pan for another four hours, let it proof so it stays in the pan, and then we are able to build the cheese on it. A lot of the meat products, you know, like you'll get, especially for pizza, is like cased or cured or some other sort of thing, like a farce inside of a casing. If we're gonna get those things, we might as well try and get the best of them. And then the other things we can manipulate ourselves, like chicken and pork, and make our own sausage and do our own things, and we're gonna do that as, as much as we can. It's not like just make the dough, throw it in the air, and then you have something fancy. Now it's in there. It's always better to have, to have the fresh. We take the nice sweet corn that's available right now, add a little bit of tahini aioli, and then we get this all over here. Probably about an ear and a half of sweet corn every pizza, because why in the world not? And that right there is the basis for our Lotte pizza. Ooh, look at him go! Get back here, buddy. So on a lot of these, the sauce would be the vegetable and or finished with sauce. In this case, our sauce is sausage gravy. Not the cutest stuff in the world, but I guarantee it's gonna be delicious. Soft scrambled eggs, you know, and it's, it's kind of like making a little painting. The way you layer it and how you go about doing it is actually very important. <laughs> Let's have a looky. This one's almost there. Pizza's always been the, the takeout champion, you know? It's not like you necessarily have to switch everything around to make something in 2020 that people are gonna wanna eat. People are turning to like, doing pizza, doing sandwiches, doing hot dogs, you know what I mean? In like a fine dining type of way. Then you realize that all along, these sandwiches, hot dogs, pizza have always been like the fine dining. This is an edible plate. You should have something to finish it with. It should be finished, it should be done. This elote one is uh, it's definitely a garnish heavy pizza. So we have tahini aioli, okay, it's so fresco. Pickled red onion. You're not chefing unless you're using tweezers, so what the heck? A little bit of cilantro here. Last but not least, charred lime that we did. You know, there might be a lot of whole, whole lot of garnishes, but at the end of the day, it's still pizza, and we expect it to be dug into like people would eat pizza, so here's that. There's many hours. It's not like just make the dough, throw it in the air, and then you have something fancy. We like to put a little bit more thought into it. We like to think that people can taste the difference in the in the labor that it takes to, to make this pizza happen. If anybody else is trying to open a Detroit style pizza restaurant, I would advise against it. Not for my, not for me, but just for your sanity. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that goes into it. I don't, I don't ever go home. This is my home, but you know, I'm surrounded by pizza, so it doesn't really matter, right? I get to do what I love and I get to eat what I love. And that's a gift all by itself. Thanks mm -hmm. to the guys over there at Rectangle. Okay, you got to try. I have a couple questions. Mm -hmm. So the elote pizza with the corn. Yes. That looks amazing. Amazing. There's a lot of stuff on it. Mm -hmm. I'm that was scared. That's my favorite. That that's was your my favorite? favorite. Yes, with the the pickles and I mean, the pickled um, onion, and it was really good. Okay, and then we saw something with sausage gravy. Breakfast pizza. It's super popular, and it was also very good. I just don't, I'm not a huge breakfast people pizza person, yeah. but theirs is really good. The one that was the best, I want to get it right, it's the Shredder. That was the one with the um, pepperoni on it. Yeah. They use a Crybaby Craig's Honey 
so, so good. But the thing with the tri pizza, it's a uh, focaccia crust. Yes. It's kind of what it tastes like. And it's the square because Detroit yes. Motor City, they used yes. um, motor parts, from what I understand, to make these squ- the, the pan. pan. Yeah. And so I think it's it's really neat. And they're right by you in the North Loop. Um, such good pizza. Support local restaurants, mm-hmm. man. And this is a good one to support. So thanks to, to the guys I love. He's like, don't open this. <laughs> <laughs> Hard work. <laughs> to learn more about Rectangle Pizza in the North Loop, check out their website, rectanglepizza.com. A pizza joint in New Haven, Connecticut came out on top, by the way, uh, on, a, on a survey. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us.